dear David Aldridge, this poor man, this poor tweet, in his effort to keep up and play the never-ending game of scoops and sources, our friend David Aldridge, a man of wisdom and age, succumbed to his weaker self. He pushed send on a lead from a similarly defunct source. This sad, sad moment in an otherwise mediocre to slightly important career of sports coverage may very well be the beginning of the end, but not just for our dear David, for the entire practice. This may be the exposure on a practice that at its core is unnecessary, useless, and truthfully a waste of everyone's time. And one more. This practice exemplifies the phenomenon known as the Woj Bomb. The Woj Bomb may turn out to just be a tactic from the establishment to get their own storylines out. This is not a crack in the system. It's not intrepid reporting. This is not a deep dive meant to expose or correct a flawed system. This is literally a scoop on what would end up being a press release in two days. I mean, who, what? What do any of us gain by learning that Free agent Bohan Bodanovic has agreed to a two-year, $21 million deal with the Indiana Pacers. Leak sources tell ESPN. This is no secret. This is not something that needs to be put back into stealth mode. This is just exactly what the God-blessed Indiana Pacers want to put on a freaking press release like a day later. Why does this say sources? Why is this allowed to be framed in this covert, secret, Watergate, deep throat style way? This is not a scoop. It's just a thing. It's a thing that happened. A thing that the Indiana Pacers would probably tell him directly. Your phone is going off and there's business I'm sure going on. There's more than likely an intern or an executive assistant that answers the phone whenever Adrian calls. And he calls and says, do you have any information and whoever is working that day tells him the information that is not a source. That's a thing that happened. And you know why? You know why it's not a source? Because one, the Pacers and every other team that funnels through one Wojanator is not helping on finding the source. Weeding out the leaker. There's no crime here. If the Pacers ever found the source, that person would keep their job. There's no firings involved. So, whether it's free agent Tyreek Evans agreeing to a one-year $3.3 million deal with the Memphis Grizzlies, big sources tell ESPN, or if it's Contavious Caldwell Pope willing to do a one-year balloon deal with the Los Angeles Laker, according to sources, does any of this matter? I mean, does this mean that if someone asks me what the weather is like, I get to say sunny according to sources? Even if the source is the God bless his local TV weatherman, you don't just get to steal the devices from the mostly important news media practice. You don't have sources. You have guys who tell you things first before they write it in a damn press release and send it out to everyone. Woj, you, you are the source. You work for the league. You are not an outsider with tentacles reaching into the faulty shade shaped parts of the league. You are a press secretary. You are a press secretary to the league. You are the NBA's Sean Spicer and deal with it, man. Just deal with it. Which brings me back around to another point. This gentleman, Brian. When Rachel Nichols warmingly welcomes him onto the show, though at the beginning of her show says, Brian may be on his phone for the next half hour, and you look around like, well, of course I'll be on my phone. I'm doing important work here. While you simultaneously occupy a chair on a widely viewed TV show, I can say as someone who knows what goes into producing a show, there is no reason that this type of disrespect should be paid to a show that you are on. There is nothing literally nothing that anybody is telling you, Brian, that is more important than you keeping your head up and participating like the panelists you ache to be. You are a guest. Act like it. If 
you think breaking the news that free agent James Johnson has agreed to the framework of a four-year deal to stay with the Miami Heat? Weak sources tell ESPN it's not. We will all find out about this very soon, and more importantly, we do not need to know this right away. Are there games being played? Are teams trying to keep their rosters a secret until opening day? The team is literally going to put this on their website in a video package. They'll even have a full-blown press conference with a jersey and microphones. They'll send out invites to folks like you, to maybe even you. It's all going to happen, like really soon. So breaking this story is not important. Important is the TV show that has millions of viewers that is happening right now. So put your phone away and realize that it's all just for fun and not that serious. It's not news going on. Participate in the episode of the show you are on. Now what does happen when we get a woge bomb about a big free agent? Well, all the talky faces yammer on for about 1.5 days and then we move on. Now when you give us a scoop a day or two early, then that 1.5 day clock starts running. So whether it happens on Tuesday by Ramona Shelberg, the female Brian Winhurst, or it's an official press conference or release from the God blessed New Orleans Pelicans on Thursday, the 1.5 days of speculation will happen and nothing, no answers to any real questions will be answered. They will only be answered when the season starts. You know, I'd actually really enjoy not knowing anything until the season starts. Nothing until opening day. How fun would that be seeing all the reworked teams and lineups at one time? That would be crazy. That would be a crazy way to build up excitement, real anticipation, and buzz. So back to poor David Aldridge. He knows he's better than this. He knows his sources aren't even connected to teams anymore. Maybe they're even dead. But he felt he had to. He believed he had to play this game one more time and nobody in his old ass camp stopped him. Nobody at TNT said this is not a good idea. Nobody told him you do not have to do this. So instead, he hit sin to a tweet that may bring on the end. I'm a broken man I'm a broken man